everyone, this is our game called Internal Spiral, and it's a mental health based game. Our team was main runners and consisted of 8 people. Justin was the producer, while Pedro and Santiago were programmers. Florian was on sound design, Angela and myself, Erica, were artists for the game, Christian did level design, and Bobby was on research. The player starts in a pitch black maze with no awareness of how they arrived. The player emits a radio light source that seems to dim over time. Wandering around the maze can reveal one of three things. The first thing could be a pill that represents Adderall. This pill gives the, the player a brief burst of speed. The second pickup that they can get is a coffee pickup that allows the player to get a little bit more energy. As the player walks around, they can also enter they can also reveal new NPCs that they could talk to you that give them dialogue choices. Depending on this dialogue choice that they the player picks for the NPC, it can grant them more energy or take away energy. NPCs interactions will help you will help guide you to learn more about yourself and help you discover why you're lost in this maze. One of the reasons of why we made this game is because of mental health and its big factor in the world. Just as an, as an example, in a report that came out in September of this year, it says that 90% of Gen Z people experience some type of psychological or physical symptoms as a result of stress only in 2021. And around 70% of the, those Gen Z people says that anxiety and depression are significant problems among the peers. Also, during the pandemic, a lot of people between 20 and 24 years old showed biggest leap in anxiety. Our biggest blind spot is that none of us are mental health professionals. But moving forward, we could reach out to experts in the mental health field who are better focused on the issues. Overall, our development process went fairly well. Uh, obviously, in the beginning, we did have some struggles and issues uh, with time and collaboration, such as agreeing on a game idea and everyone just being able to meet together at the same time. However, we worked through these problems and were able to effectively collaborate and communicate with each other and develop a beautiful game with some amazing art and programming. So obviously our game is about mental health, but we were only able to create one level that focused on work crunch or burnout. We believe that this game has a lot of potential if it were to continue in development. We want to make this game be related to the larger field of mental health issues and not only work crunch. We would create additional levels that focused on aspects such as anxiety or depression, and through the interactive aspects of this game, the player could traverse their inner mindscape and help discover best practices to express their feelings. We want to show the millions of potential players for our game that they are not alone when dealing with these issues, and speaking your mind is a great start to feeling better. Once again, we thank you for listening to our pitch. Everyone did an amazing job in creating this game and are all very proud of the way it turned out. We hope you enjoy it as well.